Good morning. So today in this class we are going to revise the chapters which are coming for your exam. That is first is your nutrition in the plants and the second is nutrition in the animals and the third is fiber to fabric. Right. So three chapters are there for your first periodic exam. So today in this class we are going to revise the first chapter that is nutrition in the plants. Right. So as you have studied about this chapter, so what do you mean by the term nutrients, right? So the first part is what do you mean by the nutrients? Like in the, what first of all we used to take food, right? So why we take the food to get the energy and so that we can work, right? So, those food items could, uh, contain certain components, right? Which are those components? Like carbohydrates, protein, fat, vitamins and minerals, right? All these are called as the components of the food, right? So, these food items contain nutrients, right? Or the components of food be called as the nutrients, right? Then, all living organisms require food, right? So, what happens? The plant, right? The plant used to prepare their own food, right? But we animals or human beings depend on these plants, right? We directly not preparing our own food, right? We are, the, we are getting the source, okay? So, the source of food is your plants. So, plant is providing the food materials to us, right? So, all living organisms require food. Yes, they require food to get the energy and so that we can burn, right? So, plant can synthesize food, but we humans and animals cannot prepare our own food, right? Thus, humans and animals are directly or indirectly depend on the plants, right? Food of nutrition in the plants. So, in this part, we are going to study the organism which make their own food and organism which depend on the plants. Okay. So, what we call them as, right? So, in the first part, that is, we have studied about the nutrients. The so nutrients are the components of food. And what is the nutrition process? Okay. So first is your nutrients. Right. And second is your nutrition. So nutrients are the components of the food. Right. So these are the components of food. Whereas nutrition. Nutrition is the mode of taking food by the organism and its utilization by the body. Right? So, nutrition is taking one food. So, the process of taking food. Okay. So, we are taking those food, right? So, that we get the energy, right? So, taking food and Utilization by the body. Okay. And utilization by body. Okay. So, it is the process where we used to take the food inside our body and our body utilizes those food into or it convert the food into energy. Right. How will the body is utilizing that food? So, it is converting them into the form of energy, right? Now, we have the organisms like autotrophs, heterotrophs. What do we mean by autotrophs? Autotrophs are the organisms which make their own food, right? Like your plants. So, auto means they have given self. Trops means nourishment, right? So, so, autotrophs are your plants, right? Green plants. They used to prepare their own food, right? Whereas your animals and most of other organisms take in food prepared by the plants, right? So, 
we take the food from the or we get the food from the plants or the organism which cannot prepare their own food right so they are heterotrophs animals and most other organisms take in food prepared by the plants they are called as heterotrophs right so now we are asked where the food factories of the plants located okay so food is made in all parts of the plant or in certain parts how do plants get the raw material okay so two types of organism we have studied right autotrophs are the organism which make their own food whereas the heterotrophs which depend on the plants products right they cannot prepare their own food like your animals and human beings but plants can prepare their own food right so in this part that is next part we are going to see how the plant prepare their own food okay and whatever the food is prepared it is stored or it is prepared by the leaves okay so leaf part of the plant used to prepare the food right and it is stored in different parts of the plant so the first is your photosynthesis process so what do you mean by photosynthesis the process of making food by the green plants in the presence of sunlight water right sunlight water then what is it carbon dioxide right so all these things are required to form the oxygen and the food right so this part we will study first of all what in the blue box they have given this cell right what is a cell okay so our body or the living organisms are made from the these tiny units okay we called as a cell okay cells can be only seen under the microscope right so if you have the cell okay this is a cell so we living organisms are made from the cell okay we have number or we can say millions of a cells joined together to form whole structure of the organism right so these cell get divide in divide or they get multiply to form whole structure of an organism right so that's why we call them as basic unit of life they are the basic unit of life why because from the cell only the whole organism is developed okay so it will divide in a large number to form the whole organism right so the bodies of a living organisms are made up of tiny units called cell okay so tiny units so these are the tiny units of our body right then what are the different parts you can see it is the nucleus okay it has the nucleus then one more layer then it is a cell wall outer covering then nucleus it is a cytoplasm so it has basic three parts the outer covering we called as a cell wall and there is a center spherical round body that we called as a nucleus and this cytoplasm is a liquid or a fluid material that we called as a cytoplasm right okay so enclosed or bed so this outer or the boundary of the cell we call as a cell membrane okay above the cell membrane there is a one more layer that we call as a cell wall but this is the cell membrane okay then this was a just 
brief introduction of about this cell what exactly it is a cell right so now moving to the part of the photosynthesis process right so as we know it is the process where the plant needs to prepare their own food right how it is preparing food so in the first part they have given about the stomata okay so stomata we see a leaf so leaf has the stomata okay they have the cells at the upper layer of the leaf okay you can see the figure 1.2 where they have enlarged the view of your stomata right so stomata has two guard cell okay they have two guard cell it is a stomatal opening or we can say stomatal pore okay so it is a stomata which helps in or what is the definition tiny spores present on the surface of the leaf pores okay so they are the stomatal the stomata or the tiny pore okay pore means what so pores mean opening okay so this openings or the open structure through which something can enter okay so these are the tiny pores present on the surface of the leaf now what is the use of this stomata so stomata helps in capturing the sunlight sorry capturing the carbon dioxide right so now leaves have the okay so your card stomata so it has the openings right so through that carbon dioxide carbon dioxide which is needed by the plants can be entered through the leaf okay then you need some passage to enter right and okay like you enter uh, in your home through a door right so there are also a pores on the opening through which this carbon dioxide from the atmosphere enter to the plant body okay enter to plant body now next is leaves have a green pigment called chlorophyll okay now another pigment or the material required for photosynthesis green pigment right it helps the leaves to capture the sunlight the stomata is helping to capture the carbon dioxide right then your chlorophyll so chlorophyll is a green pigment or the green substance which is so green pigment called the chlorophyll right it helps in capturing the sunlight or the pigments or we call the color bodies right which are present in the leaf they capture the sunlight right and so how we are how the plant is using these raw material to prepare food right so carbon dioxide which was taken by the stomata right then what else we need water okay so we are watering the plants right then it is converted into so overall reaction they have given right carbon dioxide water then who will take the sunlight or absorb the sunlight the green pigment present in the leaves okay that is your chlorophyll so chlorophyll going to absorb the sunlight and it will form carbohydrate carbohydrate and oxygen okay so this is the whole process of photosynthesis or this is the process where plant uses this method to carry out or to produce the food or prepare their own food right so plants 
need carbon dioxide, water, and they need sunlight, which is captured by your chlorophyll. Carbohydrate is your food. Okay. So it is your food prepared by the plant. And there is a release of oxygen. So you can think how the plants are important for us, right? As they are releasing oxygen in the atmosphere. And that oxygen is needed for us, right? So we inhale oxygen and release carbon dioxide. So it is reversed in the plant, right? Now, then next part is, they have given about the desert plants, right? In the blue box they have given, in desert plants have the scale or a spine like leaves to reduce the rate of transpiration, right? So one term they have given transpiration, right? This is a process of photosynthesis. Now moving to the next part. Transpiration. What do you mean by transpiration? What happens? The plant used to take the water. Right? But there is a water release or there is a water release from the body of from the body of the plant. Okay. Or the plant uses loses water from its body. Right? So we have the plant. So it loses the water in the atmosphere, right? If there is an excess of water, right? So, as we water the plants, right? But there is a process of transpiration where there is a loss of water or release of the water by the plants in the atmosphere, we call it as a transpiration, right? Okay. To reduce the rate of transpiration, the desert plants have a spine like leaves. Okay. Or they are modified in the form of a spine. Why? Because to reduce the rate of transpiration, as it has more surface area, it will what, loss more water. If the surface area is small, then there will be less water released from the plant body. Right? Then, next part is, so whatever the food is prepared by the plants, that is, we have the carbohydrates, right? The product is the carbohydrate, right? Now, this carbohydrate is stored in the plant as a starch, okay? So, the stored food of the plant is starch, okay? That's why they have written starch is a carbohydrate, right? Then, we have various leaves, right? Different colors of the leaves you can see, right? So, next part is your algae. So, what do you mean by the algae term, right? So, what are algae? You have often seen slightly green patches in the ponds or a standing water body. So sometimes you have seen right, a patch of a green, okay, green material you have seen. That's why they have slay, uh, said ponds or the stagnant water bodies have uh, some patches of a green or the green patches of substance, right? Near the water body, so they have these small plants, very tiny, tiny plants you can see. Okay, from the, uh, we can say, when we go and see by, or we, when we observe from near, we can see the small tiny plant tips. So they are called as an algae. But from the far side, it is like somewhat a green patch. Okay. So, they contain chlorophyll which give them green color. They can prepare their own food. Like uh, with the process of photosynthesis. So these tiny plants or the algae also capable of photosynthesis. They can also prepare their own food. Right? Now, we have the next that is 
synthesis of a plant food and other than carbohydrate so carbohydrate are the made by the carbon hydrogen and oxygen so your food that is prepared by the plants is the carbohydrate composed of carbon hydrogen and oxygen right so then nitrogen is present abundance in the gases formed in the air however plants cannot absorb nitrogen in the form okay so this part then the next part is so that nitrogen part we will study later now the next part is about the mode of nutrition so other mode of nutrition for the plants right so first of all they are basically prepare their own food but sometimes they depend on the others right that example we are going to study heterotrophic mode of nutrition means where one organism is depending on other they are not preparing their own food right or such plants and animal depend on food by the other plants okay sometimes they are preparing their own food but side by side they are depending on others right so in this part we have the example of a cascuta okay cascuta or the amar bell figure 1.5 you can see right so here in this part you have the tree and this cascuta or the amar bell plant spreading throughout the body of the tree okay like a network so it is your tree is your host okay and this amar bell is or the cascuta is parasite so it is taking the nutrients from this plant the this tree host okay so it takes ready made food from the plant on which it is climbing so it is trying to capture all the food prepared by this host plant right so host and parasite okay then in this part what we have studied so they are depending on others right so this plant or usually what happens plants can prepare their own food right but sometimes they depend on others right like this parasite plant that is cascuta so what are parasite these are the plants which depend on other plant right so cascuta this is called cascuta it does not have chlorophyll but sorry so this parasite what is called it is a cascuta okay we are studying the example of cascuta this cascuta as it does not have chlorophyll okay so as initially i have told that some plants can prepare their own food but sometimes they depend on others like your pitcher plant okay the example we have given the pitcher plant right the pitcher plant has the capacity or it ability to prepare food but then also it will take or capture the insects as a food right but in this part parasite or the cascuta do not have the or does not have chlorophyll so chlorophyll is necessary for the photosynthesis right but this parasite or the cascuta does not have the chlorophyll to prepare its food that's why it is depending on the host okay but apart but usually what happens plants can prepare their own food but sometimes they depend on others like your pitcher plant right so it can prepare its food but it is what it is capturing the insect as a food okay but according to this parasite or the cascuta it does not have chlorophyll and that's why it is not preparing its own food it is taking the ready made food from this host plant okay so to 
did in this class we will stop here and the next part we will continue in the next class okay